Hello everybody, Frankly FM84 here. Thank you for coming back and joining me on the FM Connection YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be bringing you yet another Wonder Kid or Bust video. It's where we take some unearthed gems in FM22, move them to a team with a higher reputation and see how they develop across the first five years of their season before we judge whether they become a Wonder Kid or a Bust. Hello everybody, Frankly FM84 here, back for the FM Connection. As you might have heard in the intro, today I've got another Wonder Kid or Bus video that I'm going to bring to you. We're going to take a player from Liverpool, we are going to move him to AC Milan. We are then going to sim five years of his career and see if he can turn into a Wonder Kid or a Bust. But before we get into the episode and show you exactly how this player develops, we need a small favour from you. If you could hit that like, subscribe and notification bell for us, that would help the channel so, so much. We enjoy bringing these videos to you. We enjoy bringing the quality content here at the home of creators. And if you could do that for us, it would help us bring the channel to so many more screens and so many more people. If you want the people that's done that already, though, we're going to jump straight on into the episode. And as you can see, we today are starting off with a Liverpool player. Let's reveal who today's player is. It is the massive six foot four defender, Billy Comitio. He starts off in Liverpool's under 23s, as you can see right at the top of the screen. Um, when you look at him, he looks pretty much like a raw ball of talent. We know of him because he has been in Liverpool's first team. He has played games under Jurgen Klopp and he has quite a big reputation. He starts off the game with no French youth caps at all. He's 18 years old and he starts off with a contract until 2022. He is available for loan and he is valued between 8.8 .8 and 10.5 million pounds. As we're starting off the game with Liverpool, uh, we can see the pros and cons of the player. So let's have a little look at some of those. So in terms of the pros, he is a determined individual. He has an impressive jumping reach, which we'll get onto in a minute. He has the potential to be a Premier League defender in the future. He's a fairly consistent performer, which is going to be something that we are looking for in these Wonder Kids. He's good in the air. He has performed OK in training lately. He's considered a physical player. He seems to fit in fairly well with most of the squad. And then he's under 21, which means he's exempt from registration. In terms of the cons, he has a competitive streak, which leads to him bending the rules sometimes. He's operating at an EFL League 2 level when you start the game. He's susceptible to injuries, which, fingers crossed, as he develops as a player, that might start to drop away. Uh, he's not very versatile, can only play in one position, which you can see is a centre-back. Um, must do better job when it comes to his marking, so there's something to look for in terms of his training. He has to refine his decision making before taking the next step. So there's two things there that you can put into a training regime. You can start to develop the player. At the age of 18, there's plenty of time to be developing those kinds of things. So let's look at his positions. Plays best as a ball playing defender. He's one and a half stars there. He's one star central defender. One star no nonsense centre back, one star libero, and a one star wide centre back. So, not many positions that he's completely comfortable playing, but a centre back, a ball playing defender, he's completely comfortable and a natural in that. You probably can't see just under the box here, he's currently rated in the Liverpool squad as a one and a half star player, a three star potential player which puts him around on average with what the game thinks Ibrahima Kanate is for potential, although he is a full star behind Kanate in terms of his current development at the start of the game. Looking at his stats for the centre-back position, you can see the highlighted stats there. He has good first touch. He has heading of 10, marking of 10, passing of 15, which is obviously why his ball-playing defender is going to be important. Tackling is only 8, so something that needs to be improved upon. Technique is 12. So hopefully he'll be good on the ball as well as being able to pass it. His mental stats, anticipation is 12, composure is 12, determination is 19, which some people believe is the key to getting these players to their full potential, how determined they are to make it in the game. And in terms of his physicals, 
has acceleration of 12, agility of 11, jumping reach of 17, which is impressive for a 6 foot 4 defender. He has natural fitness of 15, which is strange to see susceptible to injuries considering he is naturally fit. Uh, pace of 13, strength of 14. As I said at the start, he's 6 foot 4 and he weighs 15 stone 3 pounds. He has a very strong left foot, fairly strong right foot, so can be a two footed player. We are going to be taking him, as I said earlier, out of Liverpool's team right now. We are going to move him to AC Milan and then we are going to watch him develop for the first five seasons of his career. And we are going to come back when I've done that and show you exactly how he develops as a player at AC Milan. Here we go then. You can see we have simmed five years into the future of Billy Comatio's career. He is the 7th of June 2026. He's now a 23-year-old centre-back at Milan. One thing to say just before we show you the full breakdown of the player. Uh, for the purposes of this video, we have taken him from the under-23s, moved him to Milan. We have locked him in to a tactic. Now, I know in real life this wouldn't happen, but we have forced him to play every single game just to see how his development would be if he's training with the first team, playing for the first team. I know it's a little bit unrealistic, but it's the best way to show you how the player develops across that five-year span. The other thing to do is show you quickly the tactic that we have played. It's the 4-3-3 that you might have seen on the channel. Uh, Billy Comitio is playing as a right-sided, ball-playing defender in the first team. So back to the player. You can see that we were talking earlier about those pros and cons in the box at the top and was hoping that the cons would slowly drift away and the pros would build and that is exactly what we are witnessing here. So going through the pros, you can see he has fan perception, great affinity towards the player. He has an impressive jump and reach. He has a good chemistry within the first team and the core group of the squad. He is a leading player for most Serie A sides. He's a determined individual. He's really good in the air. He has been in a rich vein of form. He is currently playing at close to his full potential. He's been developing as a footballer over the last three months. His eligibility counts towards Milan's trained at club. That also goes towards his eligibility for the league and for the continental competitions. And he's also homegrown in nation for the continental competitions too. And he is considered a physical player. So if you remember, there were quite a few of those cons at the beginning. The only one now is that he can still only play in one position. Not really a big deal when you're looking for a big centre-back to just carry you through some of the games. So again, breaking him down, 23 years old. Milan have deemed him good enough to be given a new four-year deal recently. His value has shot up to 54 to £60 million. Pounds. If we have a look, I don't know whether you can see it just above my head here. Comitio is now rated as a three-star current ability player and a three-star potential ability player against his Milan teammates. I know the stars don't always count for everything in world football, but certainly in this squad, he is a three-star for both. Looking then at that one position he's limited to, at the start of the game, I think he was just one, one and a half star for ball playing and then one star for everything else. He is now three stars for pretty much every position that he plays in, apart from wide centre-back where he has two and a half stars. Breaking down his attributes then, technicals, he has good first touch, heading, marking, passing, tackling and technique. Tackling only 11, probably could be improved, maybe some uh, training routines for him to get him more accustomed to building that tackling stat up, but it's still a good base stat for a 23 year old. Mentals, 15 anticipation, he has good composure, concentration, decisions, determination has gone up to 20, which is probably why he has built that affinity with the fans. Uh, leadership of 12, position 13, vision of 14. And then his physicals, he has good acceleration, good agility, jumping reach of 19, which is a little bit strange that his um, heading isn't as high as what we thought it would have been. Uh, natural fitness 15, pace of 15, stamina of 12, strength of 17. He's 6 foot 4, weighs 15 stone, 12 pounds. Still very strong on his left foot, fairly strong on his right foot. We're looking at his descriptions. His personality is determined. He's a centre back. He is media friendly. And his player traits are marks opponent tightly, tries long range passes. So building himself into a little bit of a Virgil van Dijk, maybe. Let's have a little look at his history and see how he's been getting on. Across the five years. 
the first season that we plugged him in, he played 35 games, scoring five goals, no assists or player of the match, but a 7.11 average rating for an 18-year-old centre-back is good. He then built upon that 33 games, 10 goals, three assists, two player of the matches, 7.41 average rating. He then played 31 games, five goals, one assist, two player of the matches, and a 7.28 average rating. Moving on to 24-25, 35 games, 8 goals, 1 assist, 2 player of the matches, 7.32 average rating. And in the final season of the Sim, 35 appearances, 7 goals, no assists, 1 player of the match, 7.46 average rating. Giving him career totals, uh, certainly just for Milan. 169 games played, 35 goals, 5 assists, 7 player of the matches, and a 7.31 average rating for a 23-year-old who could still develop let's have a little look at his personal milestones so he was bought by Milan for 8.5 million pounds as I said at the start we were managing Liverpool as well so that deal kind of went through I think Liverpool will try and drive a bit of a harder bargain for you to get him but if around that price it would be an absolute steal he scored his first goal in 2021 for Milan they then won the Coppa Italia they won Serie A he was named in the seasonal best 11 in the second season, they won the Super Coppa Italiana, the, Su the Coppa Italia and Serie A. He was named in Milan's seasonal best 11 before being named Italian Serie A Best Young Player of the Season. Let's have a look at that award. 22-23, there he is winning that award. It's quite impressive. He then, where are we now? Scroll back up. 2024. Won Serie A, named in the seasonal 11. They then won two more cups before being named in the season's 11 again. They then won the Coppa Italia, the Serie A and the Champions League in 2026. He then became the European Champions Cup Defender of the Season runner-up. Let's have a look at that award. Andrew Robertson beating his former teammate Billy Camatio into second place. But look who is in third. When you are looking for a direct comparison of players, you've got 34-year-old Virgil van Dijk now. And a 23-year-old Billy Comitio who has just pipped him to second place in the Champions League Defender of the Season competition. So that is some high praise there considering Liverpool's defenders have been in those three slots pretty often. Uh, he was then also named uh, in Milan's seasonal best 11. Other rewards, just scroll through these quickly. Some Team of the Week, seasonal best 11s, Player of the Month, uh, seasonal best 11, Team of the Week. Yeah, those are pretty much all Team of the Week, Player of the Year, named in the Team of the Year as well, Seasonal 11s, European Cup Dream Team as well. He made it alongside Virgil van Dijk. So again, if we are looking for high praise, that is pretty much all you can do is look at a direct comparison. So Virgil van Dijk, Billy Comitio. That is the standard that we think he could become. And remember, he's still only 23. So there's plenty of potential for that to grow. Last thing to look at then is his progress. Let's have a little look. So you can see in 2025, he was two and a half stars. He's built his way all the way up for a little decline and then starting to gradually increase again in June 2026. When we look at his attributes, let me change this to all time. It says... Major overall improvement in technical abilities, major overall improvement in mental abilities, and a major over overall improvement in physical abilities. As you would expect, that is just underneath my little camera here. And all these graphs here are pretty much on the incline. There is just one or two positions. Bravery coming down. So I presume he's had a little bit of an injury there. That we can actually show you that. So yeah, he had a major hip injury in 2024. And then that probably knocked his confidence a little bit. He was out for two months there. And then he had pulled groin. He's just had little wear and tear issues. And nothing too serious that will stunt his growth. You can see then this is going to be a bargain of a player. And again when we ask the question of is he a wonder kid or a boss. This one is firmly going in the wonder kid category. I think you can pick him up. Put him into your first team. Maybe not straight away. Maybe develop him for a couple of seasons. Like I said, in real life, you wouldn't have gone straight into Milan's team. If you're playing with a team that you can happily just have him in the background developing, I think you're going to get yourself a bit of a beast. Considering he's being compared with Virgil van Dijk in the game, I think that is a great comparison.
and a player that you can aspire to build him towards. Right then, I'm going to start wrapping this one up. But before I go, please, that little request once again, hit the like, hit the subscribe and the notification bell just to help the channel out. We at the FM Connection love bringing you all the quality content from all the creators that we have on the channel. And for us to keep on doing it, we need that support from you. And I appreciate every single person that has took the time to do that so far. But for this one, I'm going to wrap it there and I'll see you soon.